Hey everybody, <clears throat> I misread the, the directions here behind the scenes. My apologies, just gave, uh, just gave Robin uh, her time in the spotlight uh, without telling her, so. <laughs> uh, my name is Von Beeker, I'm gonna be playing some uh, music for you tonight. So welcome to Arts on Fire. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start with a, uh, a song I put together just for just for this event tonight, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think the song's pretty creative, but the title is not, so the song is called Arts on Fire. Obscurity, wondering if anybody can see, but you keep making anyway a little beauty every day. Cause when the eyes on fire with vision and desire, it sends out little sparks. The light another heart Shine away the dark We're gonna shine away the dark your hands you hold a see something that nobody else can see a truth that might just set us free or help us see the world a little differently or would you help us see the world not as it is but it could be cause when the eyes so fire Dedication that inspires Or sends out little sparks To light another heart And shine away the dark Oh, shine away the dark Let your colors shine Let your colors shine Cause when the art's on fire One voice becomes a choir It sends out little spires To light another heart And shine away the dark we're gonna shine away the dark Shine away the dark Okay, now, now we're gonna go to Robin. <laughs> Sorry, Robin. I hope you forgive me. I forgive you. All good. Thanks so much, Dave. I was busy writing so many things, um, so many great lines and rhymes. 
in that song. Thanks so much for writing it. Um, when the art's on fire, when voice becomes a choir. That may be um, one of my favorites, but there are many that I will bring up once again in a little bit. Um, as Dave said at the beginning, welcome to Arts on Fire. This is a celebration of the people and organizations who contribute to arts and culture in our community. And it's also part of the month long celebration um, that we're in right now that's called Alberta Culture Days. I'd like to share with you a land acknowledgement. Um, and I, uh, I'm using this with permission of Kevin John from They Build Bridges. We acknowledge that we are gathered on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional home, meeting grounds, and traveling routes to Cree, Soto, Blackfoot, Nakota Sioux, Dene, and Métis people. We also acknowledge all the many Indigenous and Métis people that once lived and flourished in these lands, whose footsteps and cultures have marked these lands for centuries before Confederation. In doing so, we acknowledge that you and I live and prosper in this same land as a result of the re resilience and guidance of the many Indigenous peoples who are part of Treaty 6. My name is Robin Willock, and I'm so pleased to be your host this evening. MC, I guess, is the, the proper term. Um, we, are, we are here. We may not be in person, but we're joining together the best that we can, um, no longer in obscurity, joined on um, Facebook for those of us who are watching. Thanks so much for being there. And we have a number of our nominees um, with us as well. These are the ninth, um, the ninth annual Edson and Area Arts Awards. They're made possible by grant funding from the government of Alberta through Alberta Culture Days and also through the town of Edson. I'd like to acknowledge the art and heritage groups in our community. Art Center for Edson Society, Chautauqua Edson Arts Council, Edson and, Historic, Edson and District Historical Society, Edson Craft Center and Potter's Guild, Edson and District Public Library, Edson Cultural Heritage Organization, the Edson Photography Club, Edson Pipes and Drums, Culture and Arts Network of Edson, or CANOE, Rotary Club of Edson, Edson Dance Academy, Edson Dance Enthusiasts, and the Lehman Exchange. I would also like to give a special shout out to Deanna Inshow, um, Town of Edson Community Services Community Development Coordinator with a focus on arts and culture, who has, um, if we wanna talk about pivoting and um, just rolling with it and making things happen, um, she's definitely doing it. And uh, we're so happy to be able to be here online um, and have the um, Arts on Fire happen again. And we, um, we hope that we'll be able to be in person again sometime very soon. So you've already heard from Dave and he's coming back soon. I'm seeing um, some messages happening. Uh, so I'm just going to double check that everything's okay before. Okay. Yes. Looks like we're good. So um, Dave on Beaker, um, a few of uh, a few Chautauqua volunteers and Chautauqua is our presenting organization in town. Um, we, we often go to the Alberta showcase, which is held annually. Um, put on by the Arts Touring Alliance of Alberta. And uh, a few of us met Dave in 2019, so about two years ago in the fall. And um, he just stood out to us, not only a snappy dresser, but uh, just a great person and so authentic in his, um, in his voice as a singer and a songwriter. Uh, he has an album uh, that he released at the end of June of this year called Long for This World. And he's been on the CKUA top 30 for the past couple of weeks. And it's been great to be on the journey with him. He's um, done so many live streams uh, 
throughout the the past year and a half when live music in person hasn't been possible. And um, we're just so pleased to have him be part of this evening. Dave, are you there? I am here. You're up. Hey. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, Robin. Uh, yeah, so so glad I met you. So glad I met you all. Uh, led us here to tonight. So thanks for thanks for having me. And yeah, it's been fun to watch, uh, hear some songs. I'm still at the point in my career where it's always super exciting whenever I hear uh, one of my songs on the radio, especially on CKUA. So this is uh, one of the songs that they've been playing off the album. It's called Haunted. <laughs> If I knew your name, I'd probably forget every other word. A man can only hold so much beauty inside, at least that's what I've heard. And I don't want to find it out the hard way by myself. I just let someone else, you left with someone else. A moment open, close, you vanish like a ghost. I'm haunted. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Chris. I just saw a nice comment from Chris on the side there. I'm going to try and not be distracted by all the all the comments, but it's so lovely knowing people are in the room. If I could play the game, I'd probably protect my heart from every wound. I almost caught your name, it was written on your cup, but I was looking up. I don't want to admit it, but I know I stared too long. Your eyes were singing songs, and I tried to sing along. But I forgot the tune, it echoes like a ghost, I'm haunted Yeah, yeah, yeah Coming here for just about a year, 6 30 on the clock. Watching over the clock, right where your last touchdown, but you don't come around. No, you are not around anymore. And if I knew your name, I'd probably forget every other word. All right, this is a uh, <clears throat> play one more song, and then we'll get back to the rest of our program. This is not on the album, but uh, but uh, in my biased opinion, still very good and worth hearing. So this is called "Want to Be Known." stone-faced player with a perfect hand I used to be a good prayer I used to know your plan Well, I could walk away and leave it all alone But I want to know you and I want to be known I want to know you and I want to be known Of 
my neighbor like I love myself. I guess that's the place where I could use a little help. Cause there's a deep dark grave where I buried my heart. And I'd raise it up, but I don't know where to start. Oh no, yeah, I could give in a doubt and leave it all alone. But I wanna know you and I wanna be known. Yeah, I could walk away and leave it all alone. Except that I wanna know you and I wanna be known. I wanna know you and I wanna be known. Just different names If there was a garden and somebody to blame And all the lines are blurring into a wash of gray If everything is true then I'm afraid I lost my way Thank you for the kind words, everybody, in the comments there. Uh, Marilyn and Maya. Thanks very much, Maya. All right, I'm going to throw it back to Robin now. Thanks, Dave. That was so great. Here we are with our Arts on Fire Awards. Uh, tonight, 10 different individuals and organizations have been nominated. Our panel of judges assessed the nominations based on a set criteria and came to a consensus on the winners. Thank you to our judges, Jocelyn DeVille, Maddie Ferguson, and Jason Assand. Thank you to everyone who took the time to submit a nomination. The awards could not happen without your contribution. Good evening to the nominees who are here with us tonight. Know that your nomination means that you have made a valuable contribution to the arts in our community. The nominees joining us do not know whether or not they have won an award. Know that we are present this evening to applaud and encourage the efforts of non nominees and award winners tonight. You may though, like me, and if you didn't, I'm sorry, you may have received something like this from Deanna. So you're, you are a winner already, apart from just being awesome, you also got some snacks. Like I said, Deanna, she's the best, who, who expected that? And, it, and don't make any bad comments if you didn't get a basket, because I thought everyone did. Mm, sorry, Deanna, I'll share, how about that? All right. Our first awards category is Artist for the Arts. This award recognizes an individual artist who has shown significant support and involvement in the arts of Edson and area. We have two nominees in this category. First, Spencer Richard. Okay, my screen just flipped, so I don't know if something else is going to happen. So I'll just wait for a moment. That's what's happening. <laughs> That's Spencer. Hello. So the, I'm just reading the nominations right now. Okay. So. I'm one of them. Thank you. 
more. <laughs> Surprise! This That's is like in the, on the uh, award shows when they they pan to the audience to show you. Right. We can and look like we're sitting with your beautiful wife. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. Gotcha. So let me tell you a bit about Spencer. Spencer is a rap artist, producer, podcast host, author, filmmaker. He's been in Edson since 2017. And since then, he has uh, created 13 music videos in the Edson area and also collaborated with fellow rappers from California to the UK. Our other nominee in this category, Artist for the Arts, is Michael Lambretz. There's Michael. Hey there. Let me tell you, hi Michael. I'd like to tell everyone a little bit about you. Michael has been singing since he was four and he started playing guitar when he was 16. Um, he believes that music is a universal language that unites us. Apart from performing for many years, he has also taught guitar and voice lessons in our community. He's been active in his church community, um, leading music, and also been part in the community at large in countless fundraisers, special events, and open mics. He also began a driveway slash garage concert series last summer that brought people together despite, um, well, despite all the restrictions that we've been dealing with for a while. So thank you, Michael. Now, I don't know if Dave has a drum roll for me, so I will do my own drum roll. The winner for the Arts on Fire Artist for the Arts Award. The winner is Spencer Richard. Congratulations to Michael for the nominee and Spencer. I hope that you have prepared your Oh, thank you. Am I muted? You muted me earlier. Oh, I'm not muted. You're not thank muted. You. I have no I have I have no powers in that area. You go right no. ahead. No, this is really exciting. It's strange to be doing it in like a home format. I'm sitting in my studio with my wife, but I am wearing a tie. So I, thanks. Um, guess I don't know what to say, but I did prepare something to say. Okay. I, I want to thank a few people for this award. Uh, number one, Peter Taylor for nominating me. Uh, I thought that was really nice of him. And Deanna Inshko, or is it Insho, as you pronounced it? Uh, Thankful to her for uh, the work that we've been doing through the town and the videos that I've been able to make there and just uh, the encouragement for my arts career here in this community. I want to thank my wife and not just because she's sitting next to me, but that is part of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, my wife is actually my star uh, camera person. If I'm directing a music video, she's typically the one who's behind the camera. And so it's great that she's here. And uh, obviously, in many other ways, she's been supportive. So I appreciate that. Um, also, shout out, uh, shout, shout out, shout out to uh, to Michael, my fellow nominee. Um, he's a great guy, and we've been having a lot of conversations. And uh, I think that he is uh, equally well deserving of this. And um, shout out to Brad Tufton in the community, who, when I came here about four years ago, I wanted to make music videos and knew not how. And Brad was somebody who. Uh, I just asked for a bit of help and he totally took on filming and editing those first couple of videos and teaching me a great deal. So I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. And the community at large for sharing my videos and stuff that I put out there. Uh, I work really hard at it and I try to make meaningful stuff. So it means a lot when um, people do connect to it. So I appreciate that. And I know it's not for everybody. So it's, it's nice. Um, and I think those are that's basically the, the main people that I wanted to make sure that I thank and uh, my parents and my close friends and everyone else who uh, spends countless hours on the phone with me, supporting me and all my crazy endeavors. Uh, this means a lot. Thank you so much to everybody. I think, I think we're good. <laughs> That's great. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Spencer, and congratulations on receiving the Artist for the Arts Award. The second category 
is Young Artist in the Community. This award celebrates an outstanding young artist in any discipline and serves as a reminder that the potential and future of the arts will be realized in our youth. The first nominee is Cody Van Beek. At Holy Redeemer, Cody discovered his love of the stage. He found his place. Um, I wrote a, a line from his bio that I'd like to read. I thought it was lovely. I have discovered that performing and being on stage is who I am as a person. Thanks for being here with us this evening, Cody. The next nominee, the next nominee is Jenna Beeler. Hi, Jenna. Hello. Jenna, hi. Jenna was nominated for her oil paintings. I personally, I also know that Jenna is a very fine singer and I watched her, I think the first time I saw Jenna sing, I think you were six or eight. And then the last time I saw you, you were on stage at Parkland. But I digress, uh, your oil paintings, your, the words from your nominator um, said that you have a natural ability to portray subjects vibrantly and with personality. She also mentioned your technical ability and your personable character. So um, these, these award, the, sorry, the Young Artist in the Community Award can be subdivided into categories of performing arts and visual arts. And I, this one, I'm, I kind of, I kind of know already. I kind of know that there are two names in the, oh, I didn't do a drum roll. I kind of know there are two names in the envelope, which means the judges decided that both of you are getting an award. So congratulations. Okay, let's go. Um, oh my gosh, how would this work for alphabetical order? I think Jenna, you are going to speak first. How's all right, all right. Okay. Um, well, I am super grateful. Um, this is such an honor. Um, I'm very grateful to be a young artist in Edson. I think it's such a great community for that. Um, first, I want to thank the organizers of this whole thing. I know that it is terrible organizing stuff with COVID and um, with all the restrictions and all that. And it's, it's hard. And I'm just very grateful. And especially the basket. That was really nice. Thank you so much. Um, I also want to thank Lara Felsing. Oh, so sorry. Um, anyway, but I want to thank Lara Felsing. Um, she really helped me get going with oil painting when I wanted to um, I wanted to get into that at the beginning of the pandemic, but I didn't quite know how. So she's just been super encouraging, and yeah, I'm really grateful for that. Um, and yeah, I guess I want to thank my parents. They're back there, out of the frame. Um, cheering, <laughs> cheering. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Congratulations, Jenna. And Cody, would you like to say a few words? You have the stage. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting this, so I didn't really have anything prepared, but. Uh, it's an honor. Even if I didn't win, it was just an honor to be nominated. And I'd like to thank Mr. Taylor for the nomination. Because without him, I wouldn't actually perform on the stage or, and I'd probably still be shy little kid that I was four years ago. It's really an honor to perform and give people entertainment to witness once a year on the stage and uh that's all thank you cody congratulations so uh that was our young artist in the community awards congratulations to both of our recipients 
Our next awards category is Arts Champion. This award is open to arts and heritage supporters, donors, volunteers, sponsors, educators, and innovators. It includes those who advocate and stimulate community support for the arts or heritage. We have four nominees in this category. I know that at least one of them can't be with us. I'm just gonna check because I'm seeing some messages. And maybe we're okay. Okay, got it. I needed that info. Sorry to um, delay. Uh, the first nominee in this category is Amy Wislewski. Dancing queen, you can dance. So Amy is known as the dancing queen at Mary Bergeron where she works. Her day job may be teaching, but um, it's all about spreading the joy of dance everywhere. She has a passion for dance shared with her students at Edson Dance Academy, formerly, the, the previous name was Edson Recreational Dance. She also shares that love of dance with the larger community um, by instructing uh, with organizations such as Boys and Girls Club, also at the town-sponsored Go Girls conferences, and the town-hosted Father, Daughter, and Mother, Son Galas. Congratulations on your nomination, Amy. And next, uh, with the representative Peter Taylor with us this evening, the Arts Center for Edson Society. Since 2007, arts enthusiasts have been advocating for arts and culture in our region. Um, and that has taken many forms, uh, including advocating for a new performing arts facility in our community. In, to that end, there has been community consultation, partnerships, and architectural plans drawn up. Um, ACES has also partnered with the town of Edson in creating the outdoor pavil pavilion that it is in RCMP Centennial Park. Um, it, the, member, the ACES members also volunteer at community events and they recently launched a new bursary program to sponsor, um, focused on youth, to sponsor their participation in arts classes when there is a need, um, a financial need in the family. So congratulations on the nomination, ACES, Art Center for Edson Society. Um, the next nominee, I believe, cannot be with us this evening, Julian Buckwald. Julian has had an interest in photography early in life, and that interest continued to grow over the years. Um, he has taken courses from a number of notable instructors and traveled the globe taking photos, well, and also bringing the globe back to Edson, sharing the photos with us. He has been an active member of the Edson Photography Club since its, since its inception to further um, his own education and also those of those also the education of those who share his passion. Recently, he and his wife Jane have also opened the Heart of Edson Gallery, where artists and craftspeople have a place to showcase and sell their work. Congratulations, Julian, on your nomination. And finally, in this category of arts champion, Greg and Deborah Halterman. Not going to be shown. Oh, no. we are. Yay! Hi. You, with, complete with bow tie. Very mm -hmm. nice. And Beaker. Nice to see you. I just have to come on and give a thumbs up for the bow tie. <laughs> I actually borrowed it from Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, um, Greg and Deborah, dynamic duo, um, both have been raised to appreciate visual and performing arts from a young age. Deborah started her volunteerism at 14. Greg uh, started performing and taking part in drama camps at nine. In 1982, 
um, Greg and Deborah met in an elevator at Showcase, which I, if you were here earlier, I spoke about how some of us at Chautauqua met um, Dave Von Beaker. Um, but their their meeting at Showcase took a very different direction because it led to them getting married and Deborah moving to Edson. And in our community since that time, they have been active in a variety of organizations such as ECHO, the Edson and District Library, Chautauqua Edson Arts Council, and they have been patrons and avid and enthusiastic audience members at any number of events from house concerts to outdoor concerts. So congratulations, Greg and Deborah, on your nomination. The winner of the Arts Champion Award goes to ACES, the Art Center for Edson Society. Mr. Peter Taylor, would you care to share a few words with us? Yeah, so, okay, so we were not expecting to win this uh, award tonight. Uh, first of all, I do uh, want to acknowledge the other three nominees. Uh, your work in our community is so, so valued. And uh, I'm always astounded uh, when I see your work each and every year uh, and what you do. Uh, so please, you know, uh, you know, keep up that great, great work that you do. Uh, uh, on behalf of the ACES executive, to which uh, I'm actually no longer uh, on the executive, but um, uh, I still got nominated to speak tonight. Uh, this is an organization that uh, I was cer certainly proud to be a part of for the past 14 years. Uh, we, we've we been advocating for the arts and culture community. The ACES group has been advocating for the arts and culture community for such a long time. We've been so proud of the work uh, that we've done and the partnerships we've built over the years. And uh, certainly I, I have to take the, take the time to acknowledge uh, uh, some the volunteers within ACES at Sherry McDowell, Kim Martin, Adrian Tate, uh, Clayton Dearton, uh, Ron and Jenna Christie, Doug Woodhouse, um, for all of their work, Rose Jerdry for, for their amazing work. Um, and, uh, you know, I know this organization is going to continue to advocate for the arts and culture community, continue to advocate for a new performing arts facility and continue to build partnerships. And we're also very excited about the kids in the arts program that, uh, that they're building. We had a number of recipients, uh, uh, received the, uh, a financial stimulus in the last uh, little bit here and we look forward to or they look forward to handing out more in the next little bit so i'm seeing all the comments thank you for uh all your positive comments and uh thank you so much for the nomination i believe it was uh, uh robin for the nomination uh we really appreciate it so uh, thank you you're welcome congratulations to aces on receiving the arts champion award um the final award I am handing over to Deanna to present. On mute. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It is such a pleasure to be here. I really wish we could have been in person, but um, we do the best with what we're doing. And the most important thing is that we're all safe. And, uh, and so, in that i had to pivot quite quickly so i i can't do that all by myself um i really have to thank both dave von beaker and robin for um being the people that i leaned on in the last week to make sure that this could be um a thing and uh so thank you to everybody and everybody from my office also who helped me to deliver baskets and and just get things going so um, it is it is pretty cool. I'm wearing a dress. I haven't worn a dress in like a year and a half at least. So that's quite lovely. <laughs> um, anyway, I digress. I am here to present um, the Cultural Pillar Award for this evening. And I'm presenting it because as it happens, our Master of Ceremonies, Robin, is a representative of one of the nominees for this award. So we just wanted to keep it as uh, hands off as possible. The Cultural Pillar Award is open to individuals and organizations that have demonstrated outstanding achievement and contributions to the community's cultural vitality in one of these areas. Performing arts, visual arts, literary arts, culture and heritage. 
The nominees in this category are the Vanier Choir and Caleb Tenor. A little bit about Vanier Choir. It's an ever-changing group of students from Vanier Community Catholic School, largely drawing from grades four, five, and six. The choir is run by music teacher Robin Willock, whose love for music emulates through her passion of working with students. The choir has been a major staple at the school and is tightly intertwined with the school's identity. It gives young students the opportunity to experience music and to build confidence in themselves through dedication and public performance. Over more than a decade, the choir has performed at a number of community events such as the Scopathon, Remembrance Day, Light Up um, in Centennial Park and Parkland Lodge. Congratulations on your nomination. Uh, our second nominee is Caleb Tanner. Caleb's second profession is a DJ and sound tech. And for several years now, he's been a staple contractor for the town of Edson's community services. With each event, he donates time, equipment, and expertise beyond the call of duty. He shows up early and is one of the last to leave. He treats every artist, whether local or visiting, emerging or seasoned, with the same respect and professionalism to give each of them an equal platform to share and build their talents. Congratulations to you, Caleb. All right, so the winner of tonight's award for Cultural Pillar goes to Vanier Choir. Congratulations to Robin and congratulations on your nomination, Caleb. And Robin, would you like to say a few words? Oh, I just want to say thanks so much. And yes, congratulations, Caleb. Um, well, we bring the we bring the the sound, but Caleb also. I mean, you having the sound guy is very important as well. Um, yes, uh, the the children singing. Well, it's been tricky for the last little while regarding singing and um, and performing in public, but. Um, I count my lucky stars many times every day for being with the kids and um, hearing their voices. So hopefully that will happen again soon and, and you'll, you'll see us out and about and we'll be able to share our voices with you once again. And, and um, it's, yeah, to, for us to be honored for all of the, um, the students from, from the past and also who are still at Vanier now. Um, I accept this on their behalf and thank you to Peter Taylor for the nomination. Um, oh, thanks Maya. So um, this is, this is uh, the end, Deanna. Yeah. Except for Dave. And I, I don't know, I was just thinking um, just mm -hmm. for the ease of everything, uh, if we could just do our closing remarks now. And then, then Dave can finish off with a song. Um, so I I want to say one thing, and and then if you want to do the closing remarks that that are there, sure. So um, I I mentioned earlier that I I was writing down some of um, Dave's lyrics from the theme song that he wrote. Oh, and Tyler Babiak chimed in, who who is a former recipient, and also he's performed at uh, at Arts on Fire before. Hi, Tyler. Um, so, and sorry, Dave, if I didn't get this perfect, but um, the beginning of the theme song that you wrote for Arts on Fire, working in obscurity, wondering if anyone can see, but you keep making every day, and. I don't know if this comes right away, but another thing I wrote down in big capitals was shine away the dark. So we've done that tonight and um, you've been part of it. Thanks to all the nominees. Thanks to Dave. And of course, as I said, to Deanna for making it all happen. And um, yeah, art's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a quick. Sorry, <laughs> uh, just a quick note. Thank you to everybody. This actually is one of my favorite events and I was looking through the pictures and I realized I have attended every single one of them. It started out with Canoe, which was a grassroots group in town and um, volunteers used to do this. And it's just, uh, it's the volunteers and the people that are out there 
on the ground, making things happen that create these things. And um, I just am so proud to be a part of that and to represent everyone the best that I can. Um, so thanks to everybody. Um, thanks for supporting the arts and culture in our community. It's what holds us together even through these tough times. And uh, thank you to um, all of our judges, to Dave, to Robin, to the government of Alberta for the grant and the town of Edson, and of course the county um, who helps to fund these projects. And off to Dave, thank you. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I have to be careful what uh, what I sing because I know Robin is paying attention now. I'm not used to uh, people being so attentive to my lyrics, but apparently, apparently, lyrics do matter. So, thanks, Robin. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to end it off with uh, with uh, two songs for you here to send you out into your evening. And uh, thank you again for having me as part of this event. Uh, this is uh, the song that opens up my, my album, Long for This World, and uh, a song that's been extra dear to my heart. These are both songs that have been dear to my heart kind of during these weird uh, 18 months we've had, and um, it's just a mixed, a mixed bag of, of hard times and great times like tonight that we get to kind of pivot and do some pretty neat things as well. So uh, this song is uh, this song's called Places We Can't Live. See two folding chairs escaping from the world up there. We're tracing constellations. The glow of the city lights below us in the summer night, and you're saying. It'll be all right, and I'm starting to believe you. We carve out these spaces. We got nothing left to give. Spending our finest moments in the places we can't live. The places we can't live. In a four-person booth And I'm holding your hands while we wait On a burger, beers, and two sharing plates We're making plans across the evening And the blues on the bows On the table touching toes Yeah, we're worrying about the kids Back home, I guess this is how we push on through. Yeah, we carve out these spaces, we got nothing left to get. Spending our finest moments in the places we can't live, the places we can't live. Yeah, yeah. I picture your face while the scenery keeps changing And I'm in a place where the busy world is fading Yeah, we carve out these spaces We got nothing left to give Spending our finest moments In these places we can't live Places we can't live yeah. That's called Places We Can't Live. Um, 
you can find all these if you just look up my name as it's spelled right here <laughs> on uh, Spotify or Apple or any of those places you can find these, these songs there as well uh, including this one I'm going to leave you with for tonight um, this is a, a song about the the things, the little things, uh, just like sharing uh, art and community together with, with people um, that have gotten us through uh, some of the darker times over the last uh, couple of years here as we've all had to learn uh, d new, deeper levels of resilience than we knew we were capable of. Uh, this is a song that I wrote way back at the beginning of all this, thinking that it had already been a long time, but that was about a year and a half ago. This is called... Uh, Little Mercies, and uh, it's been a little mercy to be here with you tonight. So thanks, uh, thanks again, uh, Deanna, and everyone who put this together for having me. Um, I'll leave you with this. Skin. Yeah, but somehow the sun is still shining Throw in a streak of light Across the room that I'm riding in Yeah, it's wide enough to warm the door Laying at my feet on the rug Sure, it's nothing like we used to have. Oh, but maybe it'll be enough. Let all of the smallest glories shine. All of these little mercies. Every crumb and sip of wine. All of these little mercies, yeah. Echoes in the hallway, echoes in the hallway of all the words that we couldn't say. So many. Doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, the mail was empty for a week. Till Friday when I got your card. Sure, I know what it doesn't mean. But it made today a little less hard. Yeah, yeah. Let all of the smile. All of these little mercies yeah. Every crumb and sip of wine All of these little mercies yeah. Every second of new time All of these little mercies All of these little mercies Every crumb and sip of wine All of these little mercies Yeah
Well, I think that's it for our program tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you for uh, sharing. And it'll be up on, uh, on Facebook, I believe, for some time. So if you want to watch it again or share it with people who, uh, who weren't able to be here with us tonight, that's a great idea, too. And thanks, everybody, for chiming in in the comments. Always exciting to, uh, to see uh, what everybody's saying and uh, warms my heart. I'm sure everybody else uh, who's been on here would say the same thing. So thank you all so much. Uh, Hope to see you all again uh, real soon out, outside the box. But it was nice to be here with you tonight. Um, have a great weekend.